So hello friends and welcome to a yet another video. So in this video I plan to say Dream 11 IPL match number 2. Delhi Capitals vs Kings level Punjab review. So as far as we all know that IPL 13 has already kick started in the great Middle East country and we have already witnessed a thrilling match between Chennai Super Kings and Mumbai Indians to kick start the series the 13th edition of the series which is the IPL and now I am here to tell the review of match number two which is between Delhi Capitals and Kings level Punjab both these teams boast of some ex experienced players as well as some youngsters some favorable youngsters that may be the future generations of their respective teams so as we all know that Delhi Capitals and Kings Eleven Punjab will be going to just kickstart their campaign in this year's IPL and both these teams will be looking to get on a possible positive note it uh, positive note in this IPL 2020 so um, so for the toss both the teams Shreya Saya and for Kings Eleven Punjab KL Rahul their increase and and KXIP won the toss and decided to bowl first in the Dubai in Russia Cricket Stadium. So that means Delhi Capitals were put into bat and had a fixed combination, opening combination of Prithvi Show and Sugar Dhawan. Before I would just get on with the review of the match, I would just like to tell about the 11 of both these teams. If you're looking at Delhi Capitals, Prithvi Shaw and Shivar Dhawan opened the innings. And the middle order was formed by Shimran Hepmeyer, Shreyas Ayer, Rishabh Pant, Marcus Toynis. And then um, the lower order batsman it came Akshar Patel, Ravichandran Ashwin, Kagiso Rabada, Endresh Nodje, and Mohit Sharma. If you're looking at Kings 11 Punjab, then they got off with the openers of KL Rahul, the skipper and Mayank Agawal. The middle order was formed by Karun Naya, Nicholas Puran, Glenn Maxwell, Safras Khan and the lower middle order was formed by Safras uh, was formed by Krishna Pagotham, Chris Jordan, Mohammed Shami, Sheldon Godwell, Ravi Bishnoi. Ravi Bishnoi. So both these teams have some experienced players as well as some youngsters that I already told to you. So as I said before the toss that Kings Eleven Punjab had won the toss and elected to ball first. Delhi Capitals got off to one of the most worst starts in IPL history. Just lost both their partners on single digits. And also the score was something around 9 for 2 when both these openers were out. Shikhar Dhawan was run out by KL Rahul whereas Prithvi Show was caught by Chris Jordan and was bo and was bowled by Mohammed Shami. And wickets continue just uh, wickets continue continue to just fall as Shimron Hatmaya who had a poor season to RCB in, in the last year of IPL continued his worst form as he was also gone for just scoring 7 runs in 13 balls he faced with 1 boundary and at a mere strike rate of 53.85. So that's when a kind of partnership, a kind of 50 or 60 runs partnership between the captain of Delhi Capitals and Rishabh Pant started to take the game away from Kings level Punjab. Shreya Sayed, the captain for Delhi Capitals, scored 39 runs of 32 balls and was well supported with 3 sixes and had a clean strike rate of 121. Whilst Rishabh Pand uh, scored 31 runs, he was playing little decently. He was not going for the big shots, instead he was just getting the singles and Shreya Sayed was little aggressive. So Rishabh Pand scored 31 runs from 29 balls and he was supported by four boundaries and his strike rate was 106.90. So after that, Shreyas 
uh, so after that rishab pant was bowled by ravi bishnoi the new income in ipl and he played for under 19 in india in 2019 uh but unfortunately did not didn't won that uh world cup as bangladesh win it in the final so coming back ravi bishnoi got the dangerous wicket of the indian wicket keeper batsman rishabh pant and he was bowled so after that the just quick wickets fall as just after a space of something on one or two overs shreyas iyer also just fell Shreyas Iyer also just felled this time by Mohammad Shami. It was a slow ball which deceived Shreyas Iyer, and he was looking for a big hit but just couldn't get the timing because of the dew. And thus Chris Jordan took a simple catch. He just need, didn't need it to move us. He was just standing in the circle, and there only he take the catch. And then when both these set batsmen were in the cre- were in the hut. DC again thought how how they will reach near to 150 because they need someone to play a cameo at least a cameo of something around 30 or 40 a quick fire 50 maybe and that's when the australian all-rounder marcus stoinis ex- exhibited his all-rounding skills especially with the bat he scored a match winning 53 runs of just 21 deliveries 7 fours and 3 sixes at a and a mighty strike rate of 252.38 but unfortunately if you are looking at marcus toyne stevet no other batsman who could just support him megas just trumbled on the other end but somehow or other because of um because of marcus toyne's brilliant innings dc ended up with something yeah DC ended up with 157 on the board so that means Kings level Punjab needed 158 to win their opening match in this year's IPL so now i am going to say the second innings review and this maybe will get you a little bit surprised so look Kings level if you're looking at Kings level Punjab there is no Chris Gale in the team there is no Mandeep Singh in the 11 and a, a for addition there is karun nayar and there is also krishna bagav them coming in so now um, just going with the just going with kings eleven punjab's opening pairs kel rahul and mayank agarwal started for kings eleven punjab they got off to a good start scoring 32 runs in just 4.5 overs and they were looking steady but that's when steady was unsteady as KL Rahul the captain the new captain for Kings level Punjab was bowled by Mohit Sharma and then on wickets just crumbled the new batsman after KL Rahul's dismissal was Karun Nayar who just came out and faced three deliveries before the fourth ball he was also dismissed by the former Kings level Punjab spin bowler Ravichandran Ashwin and then we guess just trumbled as i always say it was 30 for the loss of no wicket and suddenly after the game of just one over from ravi chandran ashwin the score was 35 for the loss of four wickets and in that single over two batsmen were out my uh, sorry uh, karun nayar uh, nicolas puran yeah karun nayar and nicolas puran We guess just trembled, and thus Kings Eleven Punjab were at the back seat in the power play. But then again, in the DC innings, just like DC innings, a partnership rose from Kings Eleven Punjab as well. This time, it was from Mayank Agarwal, the second opener, as well as Krishna Pagaudam. Krishna Pagaudam played a handy knock of twenty. of just 14 deliveries at a strike rate of above 140 and it was well supported by 16 and 14 so a partnership was there of some of 65 runs which helped kings eleven punjab a very lot but after krishna pa gaudam's departure at the score of 101 for the loss of six wickets in 15.3 hours things never really get to kings eleven punjab Even though Mayank Agarwal tried his best, that I'll say, that I'll say. So Krishna Bagawdam was caught 
by Rishabh Pant, bowled by Kagis or Rabada, and the new batsman was Safraz Khan, who tried his maximum to play an ankle roll, scoring 12 runs, facing 12 balls and hitting two boundaries, but a strike rate of mere 100. so it clearly shows that there was no support for mayank agarwal in the other end and if there was just someone who can just score big runs maybe kings elev punjab would have won the game now maybe you will be surprised about glen maxwell even though glen maxwell had a fantastic tour against england later earlier this year um, earlier this month glen maxwell wa- glen maxwell was gone for just scoring one run of four balls face and he was gone when the when he was gone as a fourth wicket and that time the score was 35 for the last of four wickets and he was also out by ravichandran ashwin itself so the lone warrior for kings 11 punjab team was none other than mayank agarwal itself mayank agarwal still kept the uh, match tight and did not allow the dc bowlers to settle down and thus he just kept the game going and headed at least two boundaries every over more importantly he also took uh, twos and threes as much as possible he also rotated the strike at the end um, kings level punjab needed 25 runs from 12 balls and at the end over they needed and at the last over they needed 13 runs from the six deliveries Mandeep Singh was on strike and and Marcus Stoinis was bowling. So as there were no other options and Ravichandran Ashwin was injured and was in the pavilion with his with a fractured hand because he was injured in fielding. So Shreyas Iyer had no option but to go with Marcus Stoinis to bowl the penultimate over. and the first ball itself it was a six it was a mighty six and uh, and because of the six kings elev punjab just needed something like seven runs from five deliveries and then the second ball they take two runs and then the team needed five runs from four deliveries and then again mayank agarwal just hit a, again on the boundary and took the score to one run needing from three deliveries and that's when the entire to escape the fourth ball was missed and the fifth ball was out fifth ball mayank agarwal it was a low full toss on the middle i am just surprised it was a low full toss on the middle mandi uh, sorry mayank agarwal just need to touch the ball and just take a single but instead of that he just tried to hit the ball into the stands and just finish the game um, just fastly but instead of that he was caught by shimran hatmaya bowled by marcus toynis so that's when the whole thing changed and chris jordan was on strike and again the last ball chris jordan was out this time he was caught by kagis or rabada at deep mid wicket so this shows how a game called cricket can change very much a team needing needing one run from three balls and suddenly the match goes on to a tie and it's a super over super over on the second game of dream 11 itself so in the super in the super over um kings level punjab get on to bad as they batted in the second innings according to super over rule rule kings club punjab had the right to bat at the first innings and what they did was just astonishing they they sent kl rahul and kl rahul and nikolas puran to the crease but i think so that was not a good option because you had many other players who were aggressive especially mayank agarwal scoring 89 runs of 60 balls and not getting yet get selecting for the super over he had a strike rate of nearly 150 as well and glen maxwell as well, as well. even though he just scored one run maybe he just he can maybe just hit the ball out of stadium so instead of that they go with kl rahul and nicolas puran and the end result was kings level punjab could only score just two runs on the six deliveries they faced and 
this was a kind of shame for kings of punjab because in super overs you should at least score 10 runs to keep the pressure on dc instead of that they just needed four deliveries to get all out as well as they just got they just scored two runs on the scoreboard and for dc it was all comfortable then they sent batsmen such as rishabh pant the wicketkeeper explosive batsman and the captain shreyas iyer everything was quite good the first ball was bowled by mohammad shami for kings of punjab in the uh, super over and the first ball was a dot ball rishabh pant just missed the ball completely and the fourth ball and the, sorry and the second ball it was a wide delivery and the third ball the match was finished rishabh pant just tucked it in the leg side and called for two and even to he drive he dive he made it through so that means that means what delhi capitals won the match here again his their first match and kings 11 punjab unfortunately has to go down down the points table so the points table is looking like this csk will be on number 1 dc will be on number 2 KKR will be at number 3, RR at number 4, RCB at number 5, SRH at number 6, KXIP with number 7 and MI with number 8. So tomorrow's match I think so everyone will know because it will be going to be RCB, Virat Kohli vs David Warner, Sunrise vs Hyderabad. Even though I will not forget because I am a fan of RCB and i will hope that he will they will win the match uh, tomorrow which is 24 september 2020 so as i'll say this sentence in every video thank you for watching my channel get like subscribe and comment and for more such notifications so the world can get kindly subscribe channel and also and like share and comment the video bye